We are not out of the woods yet. I'm not giving up. He's literally crazy. He cannot make up his mind. What is this? This is the fourth most nervous I've ever been in our van. Oh, we're in sand. Yeah, I didn't like the, the feel of that. We're in really deep sand right now. Can't rush greatness. We're in Utah. I don't even think we realized we were going to Utah. That wasn't but we're in Utah. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So, the last hour has been fun. It's been just a blast. I just really loved every minute. We're gonna make something. Make it, I don't know. Let's do a 47 point turn. It's just a tad bit windy. Face is frozen. The weather has dictated this whole trip. Yeah. Okay, this is not fun anymore. This is not good. So we are going to park here at the visitor center for the Glen Canyon Dam. And if we can't get inside because it opens in like five minutes or something, um, we can walk across the bridge and- Freeze our butts take, off. Freeze our butts off, take a look at the, the canyon. This is cool. This is pretty impressive. Oh, cool. Water falls down, picks up speed, and spins the turbine. Pretty cool. So we're right here at the dam. We stayed out here, which is now like sand, right here next to this little island. We're there. Oh my gosh. But look how far back it goes. So wow. crazy. That's pretty darn cool. 175 feet below full level. Wow. That is really low. I mean. Cool. That's cool. So this is one of the tracks? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, I mean, I do know, I don't know a whole lot of facts about the area, but I do know that there are lots of like, I don't know, fossils. There's the word I was looking for. So there's lots of fossils in the area, but I don't know, never seen them before. This is pretty cool. That is so cool. So we're about to walk across this bridge and it just occurred to me that I am deathly afraid of heights. So we'll go see. seeing snow plows I'm kind of nervous what? I'm not sure what to expect now <laughs> where's it snowing we know it's oh we should have went on the other side I'm definitely not scared, which is nice to know. This is actually super cool. It's actually amazing how high we are. Way down there, you can see like a little jib crane that's probably like eight or 10 feet tall. <laughs> and it's like little tiny, like toy. <laughs> That was definitely worth it. Crossing that bridge was pretty darn cool. And now we're off on the next adventure. We're gonna, I think we are gonna try and find some hikes to do, some really cool hikes, but I'm not for sure. Um, since Antelope Canyon is not an option, we gotta figure some other things out.
Okay, so we're gonna get some propane. Kind of weird. They basically were like, yeah, we'll fill it up. I was like, do I just meet you out there? Like, yeah. <laughs> kind of just like, it's like, okay. Did you pay for it? No, because they have to fill it up first so then we know how much to pay for. So we'll just wait, I guess. All right, so we're full. The van needed four gallons. I would guess it's probably $5 a gallon would be my guess. Oh, it's $3.89 a gallon. Okay, $3.89 a gallon and we needed four gallons. So we're good. Bob went in to pay and I'm gonna go pull up to a gas pump so we can get gas too. Do you wanna tell the people what the problem is? Well, the problem is, is we need to try to get to the grid. And it's snowing down there. My concern is if we're going to boondock after we see the Grand Canyon, that probably means there to be nobody around, and I don't want to be there when there's snow. So, or I should say, I don't want to be there when it snows overnight. Yeah, I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes trying to figure out exactly what to do, and I don't know yet. So we definitely want to see the Grand Canyon, but there is a big winter storm coming. Well, and it's just to the south of us. That's part of the problem is if we go too far south, then we're in it. One hour later. So we've been in Denny's for about one hour. <laughs> They're super backed up. There's not many people here, but it looks like maybe some people called in sick or something because they only have two cooks. But anyways, I digress. We did get our food after about an hour. It gave us an hour, well, it gave Bob a lot of time to figure out what our next step is. So Bob, how did you tell the people what you came up with? We are going to go ahead and head down to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We don't have a place to spend the night, but we'll see what we can find when we're down there. So one step ahead. kind of suck actually you've got the road which is incredibly rough and it's the craziest thing it's not ruddy it's not potholes it's just really bouncy and throws you all over the place and it's like super windy so there's this like crazy crosswind kind of coming at the front of the van and then it's raining so, so the last hour has been fun it's been just a blast I just really loved every minute of it so we stopped right now, really just to get a break from the road and the rain because it's been so rough and it was exhausting. So plan A has always been that we were going to go to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. We double checked our maps and we found that the road was actually closed. So then we've been sitting here doing what to do and now it appears to be back open again. So I think we're going to give it a try <laughs> and see. Yeah, and it was closed for ice. Yes which is a little nerve wracking, but yeah. So I think we're going to hop on the road and at any point, if it feels unsafe, we're turning around and we're probably going to go to Flagstaff. Definitely. We'll turn around for sure. Yeah. So wish us luck. We need it. You need it for driving. Yeah. Let's go. Clouds. That's fine. If 
feel like we're gonna make it? We're gonna make something. Make it? I don't know. It's a good sign, right? You see it all the way over there to the right. Oh, wow. I guess that means we won't die. Hey. But sure. Do you think we'll get stuck in the snow? It's fine. I maybe just right here. Yeah. This lighter oh spot here. Gosh. You watch for oncoming cars. Okay. Oh gosh. I can't really see. Do you want me to get out? Do a 47 point turn. Okay. <sighs> this is a definite no go for us. Yeah, that's. Did you reach your limit? That was my limit right there. That, that was. I'm actually still a little nervous. But, okay. So scary. Ditch right there. Yep. Okay. I guess where it gets a little bit better from here. How do you feel? Well, I'm disappointed we couldn't make it, but it's just too nerve wracking for me to try to drive up there between the hills plus the snow, and it was getting narrow. And this could be ice. And so I, I just. Can't it's do it. better and safer if we just turn back. Yep. We'll have to come back another day. <gasps> oh my gosh. Slow down. We conquered. Oh, my <laughs> face is frozen. <laughs> oh, well, my face is frozen and I'm really cold. <laughs> but that was a great view and I wish we could have seen more of it. But yeah, the weather had other. The weather has dictated this whole trip. Yeah. I mean, really, it really has. We've we tried. We really did. We drove all this way and we, we actually came here because we were trying to avoid. Yes. And so 
Because <laughs> rain was coming. But it, it caught us, so. Oh, well. All right, now that we got to figure out what's our next plan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to figure out something. Disappointed we didn't make it to the Grand Canyon, but better safe than sorry. We can always come back. This is what I was nervous about last night. It's really, really soft. I'm just going to miss these mammoth potholes. This looks like the old, like, route. If it wasn't so cold, we definitely would have hiked down there. That was really, really cool. But the wind, I think it must be blowing at like, I don't know, 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour. It's crazy. Yeah. Looked up the wind and it says 28 miles an hour. Oh my word. Okay, this is not fun anymore. crossroads we're in we're currently in Flagstaff the roads are I mean the roads are good right this second but they've been pretty bad this whole time the weather we just we I've been looking at the weather while Bob is driving and it looks like the next couple of hours is the only like decent not terrible weather we're gonna get and you know to go back into the valley from Flagstaff is pretty much all downhill and tomorrow the weather's gonna be terrible just as terrible. So we're kind of at a crossroads. We're like, do we stay in Flagstaff and risk, you know, we're, our plan was to stay at the Cracker Barrel and um, risk getting snowed in because it's supposed to snow all night and all tomorrow. They got over a foot of snow, it looks like, since yesterday. We were just here yesterday. I don't think there was any snow on the ground. And right now there's about a foot. So we're trying to decide what to do. It's currently 2.30 in the afternoon. So we have about, what, three hours until it's dark or sunset? So what would you guys do? 
Would you stay or would you go? Kind of want to stay in Flagstaff and have a fun evening, but we're worried that we'll get stuck here because the weather will be just as bad tomorrow. There's a huge, another huge winter morning um, coming through, so. All right, I made an executive decision. We're just gonna take this semi-decent window opportunity and just start driving down the mountain towards Phoenix, see how things go. If we have to stop, we will, but I just, I don't know, the wind has been so terrible and if it's not gonna get better, it's certainly only gonna get, it's just, I don't know, it, I'm just so worried about it getting worse that I'm just gonna go away. <laughs> Now we're at a complete stop. Such good progress. Now the flakes are huge and we're moving at like, literally like four miles an hour and have been for about 20 minutes. This, this is not good. Well, I've decided it's snack time. I brought meat and cheese, some chips, some dip. I got my keto sandwich. <laughs> meat and cheese only. It's the, it's the best part. How many miles? 18 Eight, miles. 18 miles. Most of it is around 5 to 6% downhill for the next 18 miles. This is the part I've been the most nervous about because I don't even like it on a good day in the van. Like, it still feels freaky to me. I guess the good part is it's so foggy, you can't stay off the side of the road, so you feel, I feel a little safer, which is really weird. stopped and getting gas and I think we're gonna go ahead and close this video out 
because it's got to be way, way too long. But as you can see, we made it. We made it down the hill. It was pretty tough, but we did it. All right, we made it down the hill, back to the desert. All right, well, that's all we have for this video. Until next week, and next week's gonna be good. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>